about this contest you're doing this weekend? Well, uh, it's a Mr. Natural contest, and uh, they test you for steroids. And if you test positive, it means you're on steroids, you're out of the contest. If you test negative, you're A-OK, -okay, you get to pose, see how you do. Are you done? Set it off for a second. It was contest. Well, it's hard to say. You know, it depends on my competition and stuff. I expect, you know, hopefully to place in the top three. I've been training real hard for this and stuff, and uh, I think I'm in my best shape ever. And uh, if I place in the top three, I'll be really happy. And if I don't, you know, that's the way it goes. You know, as long as I give it my best shot, then, you know, I'll be proud of it. Do you think you'll have a good chance in this competition? Everybody I've talked to says that I will probably come home with a trophy. We'll see if they're right or wrong. So is Body Fitness uh, sponsoring you then? No, they're not sponsoring me. They're just helping me out a little bit, you know, telling me, you know, make sure that I get everything taken care of that I need to take care of so that I'm in my best condition, best shape ever. So you're positive you're ready to go then? Oh, absolutely. All right then. Arnold invitations for us, Jack? Well, oh, yeah, I suppose. Um, the most important part of bodybuilding, or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym, is that of the pump. The pump is when your muscle gets a really tight feeling, like somebody's blowing you in there. Let's see it blowing your biceps. Blood rushes in there and it gets really tight. And uh, it just feels fantastic. To me, the pump is as satisfying as coming is. It's like having sex with the woman and coming. So, can you see why I'm in heaven? I mean, I get the feeling of coming in the morning at the gym. I get the feeling of coming at home. I get the feeling of coming when I pump up before a contest. And I get the feeling of coming when I pose in front of 5,000 people. So, I mean, can you see why I'm in heaven? I mean, I'm coming morning, noon, and night. It's great. Tell me a little bit about the joke, practical joke in the Mr. Marina contest. This guy comes up to me in the gym and he says, Hey Arnold, I'm looking for a new posing routine, something that really stands out that nobody expects. And uh, I said, and so, but when he took his clothes off and he posed for me, he looked like nothing, number one, and number two, his posing was dead, so I thought, what the hell, this guy's crazy. So I played prank on him. So I said, hey look, I'm in correspondence with all the top athletes in America, I'm one of the top bodybuilders in America, and uh, we have this new posing routine, and uh, you, it's where you scream really loudly as you pose. And so I thought to me, you know, the higher the arms go up in the air, you know, then the higher the screaming noise, and the lower the arms go down, you know, then the lower the screaming noise, so it's, ah, oh, you know, this type of a thing. And so we went home, and he practices for about two weeks, and we get to the contest, and I get the backstage to Shalom and I get them all lubricated with oil and uh, and then he got the technique very well, you know, the high and low, and I talked to him to scream really loud, ah, as he went out on the stage. And uh, he did, and the judges weren't ready for that at all. He got through about three or four poses with some really loud screaming noises, and they threw him off the stage. Ah, ha, ha, that guy was totally nuts. What about negative outside forces? His body built a... You cannot let negative outside forces come and affect your mind. Like, if somebody goes out and they steal my car outside right now, I just call my insurance agent up and I laugh about it. Uh, like, if I get emotionally involved with the gear right now, that can have a negative effect on my mind, it can have a negative effect on my workouts. Therefore, I don't bother with it. Uh, a, couple of a couple of years ago, I was 24, Miss Universe contest. And uh, my mom, she calls, and she says, Hey, Arnold, your dad just died. Can you please come down for the funeral? And I said to her that I couldn't make it because, of course, I explained other reasons to her, because how do you explain you cannot make it to the dad's funeral because you haven't gotten this in two months? And that is what caused one of the greatest conflicts with my girlfriend, because when I hung up the phone and I turned to her, she said, what, it doesn't bother you? I mean, your dad just died. And I said, no, it doesn't bother me. I got the contest in two months. And uh, I never talked about it again. For a woman. When it comes to women, 
I, I really don't care what she looks like. I like them with black hair, brown hair, red hair, with big breasts, little breasts, the big ass, little ass. As long as she's sensitive and uh, she's charming, then, you know, that's all that matters.